everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a lenovo laptop this is a lenovo idea pad 3 the exact model is a 15 ii l05 the model name is an 81we that information can be found on the bottom stick of the laptop or inside the bios in this video i'm going to cover up how step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop and I get lots of questions asking me, can I remove the battery and I still use the laptop? Sure you can, and it's healthy and there's no downside to it. Even your charger is gonna thank you because it's not gonna overcharge itself and it's not gonna overheat, it's gonna last you longer. Even the motherboard is some components, they don't work, they don't need to work because of the, there's no battery, it's gonna last you longer. So removing the battery, it is a beneficial to a laptop, not a negative thing. But if you do want to replace it because it's not holding up any more charge and you just want to renew it, this video is for you too. All right. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Let's switch completely off. Also, at the end of the video, I'll give you a tip how to give your battery at the best state of performance. So you can do that once every couple of months. All right. The tool that I'll be using is I fix this screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. Uh, for the open, if you get the process, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. Um, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this tool, we're going to get started. On the bottom of the laptop, in the front end, front row, these are the short screws. So keep these ones in one uh, pile, so don't mix them, mix them with the rest of the screws. So these are the short ones. You don't want to put a long screw through here otherwise it's going to pop through the palm rest and then you're going to get a little nipple all right the rest of them these are the, all the same size so remove them and keep them in a separate file also if you guys like my video if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate it all right now that we removed the long screws and the short screws what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. Like jam it in there about two or three millimeters in, and then you just want to twist it in much you prying the bottom cover upward. You want to hear those three click sounds, those are the clips are getting loose. Don't worry about it. if you break one or two clips, that nothing's going to happen. The clips are there for the assembly line to keep the cover in place until it goes to the screw station. So you pretty much you just want to pick it up like that. To the left and the right, jam it in there and twist it. To the corner. There we go. Once you do the side, the front and the corner back, you want to grab it up, wiggle it around, and it's going to release the back hinges. These hinges, small ones, tiny ones, clips, they do get break. And you can break them easily over time because they get do they get dry, but they are not important as the main job is being done by the screw to hold the cover in place. All right, and down here we can see the battery right in front of us. The model name for the battery is an L16M2PB2. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. To disconnect the battery is always, first what we're going to do, we're going to remove the three screws, one on the right side and two on the left side of the battery. So go ahead and remove these two, three screws. So that way it's easier to remove the connector. All right, once you remove the three screws, what you want to do is grab the battery, bring it up a little bit, and then you want to slide it towards yourself and pull it, pull the jack out. These cables are really, really tough cables, so don't worry about in damaging them or anything like that. Even if you're replacing your battery, pretty much you're just trashing it, so don't worry about damaging this. Once you got the new battery in, this is a two cell battery. First, you don't want to align the screw holes and then try to put this one in there. That will be really hassle, a big hassle. What you want to do, you want to align the connector in front of the jack evenly, and you want to push it inside the connector, and then you want to pinch them together pretty much i'm just grabbing them and pinching them together and then i can worry about placing the screw holes in here making sure that they do match and move it around make sure the cables they do bend and that's it now all you need to do is just put the three screws 
If you want to remove the BIOS battery, it's this one right here has a little adhesive to it on the bottom. So you just have to pull it up and then pull the connector and it will disconnect and you can push, purchase the new one. If you remove the BIOS battery, it's going to reset the configuration for your BIOS. And that's not a big deal, but it's just a configuration for some people. All right, once we put the screws in, last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it straight over. And push the corners, make sure you hear those nice big click sounds on the back, on the back side, on the side. And if you see any openings, what you want to do is just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And to finish it off, just put the bottom screws and that's it. Just remember, once you have the new battery in, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it in an off mode, off state, and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop and leave it on uh, without the, working without the charger for or at least until the charge comes down to 30 or 20 percent and then you want to power it off and then you want to again leave it charging while it's powered off for four to five hours after that you can use it as you wish that initial charge and discharge for the new battery is a very crucial thing to do and you're supposed to do that once every couple of months to keep the state of the battery at the best performance and that should cover up today's video and this is how you upgrade or and this is how you remove your battery for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 IIF05. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.